Hey everybody, Kathy here with Pink Pouring by Kathleen Miller. How is everybody doing today? Well, I'm in a good mood, I guess. But I'm usually in a good mood when I paint, so that's nothing new. So I'm glad you could join us, and I'm happy to be with you wherever you are at as well. So today, I have my 11 by 14 canvas. I already have my base color down, and I have two new colors to show everybody. This darker green is called... Inverness, number 6433, and the light base color is called the Great Green, number 6430. These are by Sherwin-Williams. They are color to go. They are the sample size. You can get them in any single color that your little heart desires. Today, this is what my heart desires, because <laughs> everything is so green here in Arizona. This is the lighter green for the verde trees, and this is the darker green looking out my window on the leaves. There you go. No silicone, no water, no glue. Recipe for these uh, colors coming up are in number 478 on my video for my colors that I'm going to show you now and how they are mixed. Temptation by Primary Elements, which is color art. This is Turquoise Phalo by Golden. Lemon Drop Primary Elements, Neon Pink Artist Loft, Sky Blue Primary Elements. This is Josanja Burgundy and Dioxazine Purple mixed together by Liquitex. Jasmine Primary Elements, Reflex Green by Amsterdam. Then I have Golden Fluid, Quadacridone uh, Magenta, and I have the Paroli Orange, which is Golden Fluid as well. I'm going to throw in a little bit of this Egyptian coin and my Chantilly Lace by Prism Pour. Oh, you got paints, pigments, and golden, and fluid. Yes, I one. do okay. today. Okay, all right, cool. And we have a spectator out our window. We have a bird we do. watching me. Yes, one of the lovebirds. Hi, lovebird. Oh, brother. She's right over there on the corner just staring at me. So anyways, okay, here we go. Ready or not, people. I'm going to try so, to, you know, be a little bit not as messy as Phil was hey, in his hey, video. Hey, 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 let's and see. I'm going to tell you people what he did to me. He left my marble right here in the pool. Look at the indent from the marble. It was dried up with paint, and I had one heck of a time getting that marble clean. So guess what? From now on, Phil, you're on your own. You get your own marbles. Okay. You're not using mine now. Okay. Wait, no, no, wait a minute. No, I, I'm just going to ask you, going in, going to go down to center, or are you making two lines on this one? Uh, two lines. Oh, okay. All right. I can just do one line. No, I was just, I was just wondering what you uh, had in mind here. Well, that's what I had in mind. Whether <laughs> it works, who knows? Yeah, they did mention that uh, all these paints and pigments and everything that she's using today, except for the prison pour, is, uh, has the same recipe, and that's in video 478. And that's her pouring medium recipe, her cell activator recipe, and what, how she does some of her colored bases. And there's a direct link in the description box uh, to that recipe video. Now, take note of how, what I do here, Phil. See how I tip it back? That way you don't drip on the hey, canvas. E easier said than done. Oh, you could do it. You know you can. Hey, I, I was pretty proud of you with that video. You did really well for the first time. See, I knew you could do it. I had fun. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, you know, Phil has it made because I have to do all the cleanup. <laughs> well, you have to make you have to make the paints and pigments. You have to clean up after me. I have to flood the canvas. Oh, brother! I have to videotape. I get to just do the fun part. And I'm not that good of a videographer, people, because I have a tendency to like watch, and I'm not watching where the camera is. Well, that's that can happen. I've done that myself, and it's pretty annoying. Because then when I watch the video, it's like, oh, brother, that's not good. 
Here it says Josanja Burgundy with Dioxazine Purple. This is a beautiful combo. I really didn't know that Josanja actually, uh, those pigments are paints from paints. Josanja. Paints? paints? Okay. I just thought they had that additive stuff. Varnish? Yeah. No. Oh, they have a lot of different colors? Mm hmm Oh, okay. I only have a couple of their colors, but I like I like their colors. Now, Kathy is affiliated with several companies, and you can get some very nice discounts off their products by using the discount links and discount codes in their description box. Kathy's an affiliate of Color Art Primary Elements and all their products. Come on. Boom Gel Stains, which also handles Australian Floetrol, which is a U.S. distributor, and KS Resin. So as I said, there are links and codes in the description box for you to save money on some wonderful products. Oh. This is pearly orange and this is this is uh the golden fluid acrylics. This is not a tube paint, it's a fluid. And you only need a little bit. And here we come with my Chantilly lays in a pretty <laughs> face. You can sing that better than me, though, Phil. You, I don't know about that. That you had a pretty good voice singing that Chantilly lays. No, in your that's video. that's mixed with the golden honey, right? No, this is mixed with the Egyptian coin. Oh, I'm sorry, Egyptian coin. Okay, uh, prison pores are also uh, a product of Color Art, and they are pre-made, so there's no mixing, no recipes to remember. If they're a little bit thick, uh, you just have to add a little bit of water and you're good to go. And away you go, people. Okay, we're gonna get down to business here now. Gonna put a little cell activator on our spatula and we're gonna spatula away after I get rid <laughs> of these bubbles. Don't want these little bubbles. And people ask me all the time, how come I don't Torch? Uh, elaborate on my bubbles. You mean like torture bubbles and yes. stuff? Yes. Because you do not want to torch house paint. You will get a skin. That's why I pick at my bubbles. I think I got a goober in there. Well, maybe not. thought I did, but maybe not. Well, you can pretty well take care of the bubbles by popping them with your pointed stick. Oh, yeah. So it's not really a problem at all. It's not a all. big deal. It might take a little longer, but you okay. do not want to torch on your house paint. Kathy is putting her cell activator on, of course, the back of the spatula. And their cell activator is simply Amsterdam black paint and Australian Floetrol. Now, you can make any color cell activator you like just by using a different color paint. So that's not a big deal. And as I said, Kathy does have a distributor where you can save 15% off your purchase of Australian Floetrol. Oh, pretty. Wow, getting pretty, some pretty. nice cell activation there. You want to wipe your spatula off after every time. Do not want to leave that on there, the paint. Okay. When Kathy does the swipe, I want you to take notice of the angle that she uses to do the swipe. That's one thing I did wrong when I did the swipe in the video that I made, is I did not have the spatula at the correct angle to spread. As you can see, it's almost flat to the canvas but lightly pulled over the, the paints. I had mine a little too upright, and therefore I didn't create nice cells like this because I was not spreading enough cell activator. Yeah, Phil over had it. his up like this. No, not quite that high, but still it was, it it was, was not at the right angle. Yeah, yes, instead yes. of like, you had it just up yes. a little bit like this. Oh, I see, yes. You want it more down like this. Okay. You don't want it, because otherwise all the cell activator that's here is not, it's going to be wasted. Yes. So you want to bring it down. 
So I'll, that's a lesson I learned, and hopefully by telling you, you won't make that same mistake. <laughs> but because look at how well the cell activator is is working on the paints that Kathy spread down. And pigments. And golden fluid. <laughs> and house paint. <laughs> okay. Okay. What? I, I'm gonna marble this. You gonna? You are? Uh-huh. Okay. All I'm right. I'm gonna marble it. All right. I, I love that marbling. It's, I mean, I, c I can do it with my reckon. I think no, I'm going to marble. If you, if you want to marble it, uh, go ahead. It's... Take note of my marble, Phil. Take note how clean that hey, thing that is. It didn't look like that after I was done with it. Okay, now what we're going to do different than what Phil did, we're going to put the marble on the canvas first <laughs> and then pick up our canvas. Hey, now Phil come picked on. his canvas up first and then said to me, uh, how do I get the marble on? Now, hey, if I would have put the marble, the marble, if I would have put the marble in my mouth, then I could have just kind of right. dropped it onto the canvas. But now, see, I'm going to get this unstuck first. That's a good idea. Unstick it first. And then I'm going to put my marble on. I'm going to go in the middle. And away we go. Now, another thing that I did sort of wrong when I was doing the marble was I was going too slow. I was having the marble move around too slow and that really dug into the base paint uh, too much. So you want to try to keep the marble... It worked out okay. Well, it worked out okay, yes, but it's best to keep the marble rolling at a reasonable pace, not too fast. It's difficult to stay on the canvas, but Kathy seems to have... Whoa! I just sing, oh rolling, rolling, rolling on the river. There you go. Rolling, rolling, rolling on the river. Do, 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 do. Well, I don't think we have Tina Turner in the house. No. Unfortunately, I got to sing it myself. Can't have good old Tina here. Okay, look at that. Wow. Really cool. Now, if we can get this little puppy to stick, we're going to be in business, Phil. Okay. Ha, 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 ha. Now, what I'm going to do is... Oh, you're going to do some wrecking with your stick? Yes, Okay, I am. all right. That always adds a nice little interesting lines to it. Interesting creations. Oh, you got some, a lot of very vibrant colors. I know I've mentioned this a couple of times in the videos, but it's so important to match the base you use, the consistency of the base, to the pouring mediums that you use for your paints and pigments, and also the recipe for the cell activator. And that what is what Kathy has developed in her recipe video 478 is compatible pouring mediums and cell activators that result in wonderful coloration of the cells, lots of wonderful cells, and cells being outlined by the cell activator. Okay. Wow, look at that area. Holy cow. Just super, super colors. Here we go, Phil. Okay. Oh, pretty. Wow, that is pretty, really cool. Pretty, pretty. And it kept my uh, colors separate, as you yes. can see. Yes. One side is the dark green, the other side is the light green. 
totally kept them separated. Mm -hmm. um, these colors that I used today are really pretty. Very, yes. very pretty. They develop very vibrant, wonderful shaped cells. That's a cool area right there. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool right in the ear. So you, you have an overall wonderful effect with the two different base colors. Mm -hmm. Developing the cells with the swipe with the spatula. And then having the negative space, of course, with the base colors. Exactly. And this is really pretty. The wrecking lines from both a marble and your wrecking stick. So Correct. It's just a wonderful composition that you have achieved. Yeah, I love all these colors. They're so pretty, so yes, vibrant. So nice. So like I said, hop on over to uh, Sherwin-Williams because they can make you any any color you want. For your base. For your base, yep. And uh, don't let them tell you that, you know, they can't do it because they can do it. Now, they may have a little bit of shortage on it, but they will be back in stock. I know we're a little bit short here in Arizona, but they'll be back in stock with their color to go, so don't worry. And if you need to have, like, uh, if you want to get more black, they actually did tell me that you can get it in a gallon. Oh, okay. So yeah. if you want, you know, the black, if you, if you use a lot of black, you can get it in the gallon. Just FYI for that. At least here in Arizona, you can. Yes. So until the next time, everybody, please subscribe to our channel. We'd love to have you join our family. We have a lot of fun here. Um, as I say, you know, it's only paint. If you don't like it, you can scrape it. And uh, please hop on over to our Facebook group, Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. We have over 15,000 in that group now. It's growing like a weed. <laughs> so... They have fun over there. I have fun over there. I have fun here. Phil has fun here. I hope you guys have fun with me here. I enjoy all of you. I love all of you. And until the next time, everybody, stay healthy, stay safe, and I'll see you later, alligators. Bye. Oh, this, this turned out really nice. Look at that.